So students, this is the second part of the video of the chapter shapes. In this class, we will study about sliding and rolling as well as fractions. So what is sliding and what is rolling? Now you have understood about solids, figures as well as plane figures. So all the solids with flat surface with flat surface. So what are the solids with flat surface? Cuboid and cube. So these two surfaces with flat surface will slide down a sloping surface. Clear? These solids will slide. So as you can see in the figure, this is a, this is a sliding surface. Slanting slant is there, and you keep cube and a cuboid over here. It has you see, it has flat surface here, also flat here, also flat because it is rectangular, its face is rectangular, its face is square. So, when you keep it over here, you will see it will slide, it will come down slowly. So, that means it will slide, but all the and uh, the solids that will have as you can see this is again a slanting surface and you keep circle over here circle is a solid with curved and round shape you know this the shape of the circle is curved you studied this so when circle shaped solid is kept over here that is the solid with curved or round shape it will roll you know it will roll 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 and come down so it will not slide or glide it will not slowly come down it will roll okay just see this is a ball and you keep it in a rolling surface it will roll this is rolling this will this will, this will roll 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 and then come down this is rolling and when you keep in a sliding surface and this slides this slides this slowly come down this is sliding clear yeah. so basically a sphere has a curved surface sphere that is ball or something in the shape of a circle or that is the face is curved or solid that will roll but a solid with flat that is cube and cuboid shape objects will slide now, cylinders and cones have both curved and flat surface. Now, this is these are the solids, cylinder and cone, these are the solids that have both curved and plane surface. You studied about cylinder and cone, it, it has both plane and like it has both curved surface as well as flat surface. So, what happens? They slide on the flat surface and roll on the curved surface. You studied that curved surface face solid roll and flat surface solid slide so when you keep a solid like cylinder you keep with the flat surface it will slide but if you keep the cylinder like this with the uh, curved surface down it will roll but when you keep it in the uh, flat surface when you keep it like this, the, the surface in, down over here is flat. So when you keep like this, it will slide. But when you keep like this, it will roll. So when the surface is curved, it will roll. When you keep in the surface of the flat surface, it will slide along the uh, slanting uh, area. You understood sliding and rolling? Now let us move to the last part that is fraction. So what is fraction? Fraction is a part. You keep it in mind. Fraction is a part. Now part of what? Part of a whole or a whole divided into equal parts. Suppose 
I have a whole of I'll have four suppose I have a whole like pizza suppose I have pizza it has four pieces and it is a whole and I give one piece this piece I give to my friend so this is a part of the whole pizza that I gave to my friend clear so total how many pieces were there total was four so we write the whole part down we write the whole part down if it was of four pieces total was one two three four so we write four down and in the other how many parts of pizza did you give to your friend one part of the whole pizza you gave to your friend so one part you gave to your friend so this is the fraction this is the fraction of part you gave to your friend clear you understood how to write a fraction so if this is a pizza and it consists of eight pieces suppose and this is one part of pizza you gave to your friend so what is the fraction of the part of the pizza you gave so how do you write how many total pieces of pizza was there whole of the pizza had 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 whole of the pizza had eight pieces i will write eight down i will put a dash and write eight below now how many part of pizza you gave to your friend only one part of the whole pizza you took out pizza and you gave so one by eight is the fraction that you gave to your friend only one part you gave one part of how many pieces one part of eight pieces so this is the way of writing a fraction now one half see look at the apple if you have a whole of the apple whole of the apple and you take a knife and cut it you take a knife and cut it into half half means two equal parts half means two equal parts remember the word i'm stressing equal so we say that the apple is divided into two halves if you take an apple and cut it into two equal halves we say the apple is divided into two halves now we write this as whole of the apple had two pieces like one and two was there so we write two below okay we write two below we put a dash over here and one part out of two equal parts it was one part if i write the fraction of this apple i will write one by two the fraction of this apple is also one by two how it is one by two total was two pieces and i'm writing about only this piece so this is one so i will write one by total was two so one half is written as one by two one fourth now suppose you divide the apple into four parts you took the apple you took the apple you you cut it into two halves and then you cut the halves again into two parts like one half is cut into two another half is cut into two to total how many pieces are there one two three and four so total four was there so i will write four below first i will put a dash then i'll write four clear and for this apple the fraction will be one by four why i am writing one by four because i am writing only about this fraction so this is one piece so one 
total piece was 4. So down we write the whole of the fraction. How many total was there? Whole was 4. And I am writing about 1 piece. So 1 I will write in the above. So 1 fourth is 1 by 4. 1 half is 1 by 2. Clear? We read this fraction as 1 half or 1 by 2. We read this fraction as 1 by 4th or 1 4th. Clear? Now each part, each part of the fraction will be 1 4th. If I write about this, this apple, if I write about this apple, what will be the fraction you tell? Total was 4, you know 1, 2, 3, 4. We write total below, put a dash and for this apple, this is one apple. So I'll write one. So for this apple also, it will be one by four. So each part is called one fourth. We write as one by four. Half is one by two. And if we divide it into four equal parts, it is one by four. You understood fractions, sliding and rolling, both the things you understood? Okay. So, if you haven't understood, watch it again. I'm sure you will understand. It is basically nothing but a little bit of uh, practice and knowledge you take from the things you see and look and observe and think. So, uh, there are a few ex exercises also I'll give you. So, I hope you understood the chapter shape. Next chapter is uh, patterns. So let's meet in there. Till then, bye-bye and take care.